Mayor Justin Bibb announcing the appointment of Wayne Drummond as Cleveland's new police chief. Drummond has been with the department for three decades, most recently serving as interim chief. Today, Mayor Bibb lauded his steadiness and calm demeanor. Drummond was quick to credit the men and women he is leading. I don't want it to get lost in the importance of the people that we have working for the Division of Police. That's so important. We can't do what we do without them. Chief Drummond's appointment comes as the department and police union have reached a tentative agreement on a new contract. Now, certainly the city's new police chief will have a lot on his plate moving forward. In the moments after the announcement, we hit the streets to gauge community reaction to his appointment. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan joining us now from the newsroom. All right, Tara, what are they saying? Well, increased violence to short staffing is no secret. Chief Drummond has his work cut out for him. The big question, why did Mayor Bibb choose the internal candidate? Would you replace the current chief of police? Absolutely, yes. You would? Yes. As a candidate, Mayor Bibb told the News 5 well, investigators listen. he would replace well, police all. chief Calvin Williams and launch a national search for the well, next listen. police chief. I think there, there's a lot of great talent inside of our existing uh, police force. Uh, I've met with a couple of commanders that I think um, are really talented and also several other former commanders as well. But I want to look locally, but also nationally. As mayor, the Bibb administration announced plans to hire a national search firm. But today, Bibb said those plans were scrapped. What I didn't want to do uh, was uh, waste precious taxpayer resources doing a national search, looking both locally but across the country, uh, but recognizing that I knew I found the leader that I wanted. Jeff Fulmer with the police union said officers need someone who is fair and knows their struggles. It's better than the unknown. I mean, you go from a chief that's from out of the, out of the city and you don't know what you're getting. At least we know where uh, Chief Drummond is going right now and what he's doing. Fulmer says the division is down more than 250 officers. He says not only do they need applicants, but a boost in morale. And Drummond may be that guy to do it. It's not up right now, and we are still short, which puts a lot of stress on guys that are working out there in the streets. I mean, demanding a lot of hours and things like that. Pastor Richard Gibson knows Drummond well. He has relatives attending his church and says Drummond loves the community. I was a little bit surprised because during the campaign, there was a heavy public push to have someone from the outside. He hopes he'll be innovative to help bridge the gap between police and the community. I believe that he certainly has a strong connection with the status quo. And I believe that Mayor Bibb has had discussions with him about empowering him to, to be innovative and to have fresh eyes. And says the faith community will help in any way. We all know that the, the police by themselves cannot ensure a safe community. It begins with that engagement. Cleveland Community Police Commission's Jason Goodrick says Drummond is challenged with balancing the consent decree and increased crime. We want safer streets, but we want police to come into our community and have respect for us. Goodrick says while the community may be split, there should be trust in the mayor's decision. It's not what you say in front of the microphone when you take the chief's job, it's what you actually do as the chief. Let's wait and see what, what he does. And when we asked Fulmer's thoughts on the Drummond pick from a citizen's point of view, Fulmer says we're not proactive and right now Cleveland deserves to be cleaned up of all the violence going on. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.